Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to show you what is the order of execution in the test ng for all the annotations that we have, right? I hope you guys remember in the last video, I have already explained you the different annotations that we have in the test ng, starting from before suit, before test, before class, before method, at the rate of test, after method, after class, after suit, and after test. In the last class, I have already showed you by running a class and having all these nine annotations, right? And I have shown you that when you have all the nine annotations present in a single class, the total number of test cases that will execute is only one. Why? Because every one at the rate of test indicates one test case, right? It doesn't matter how many different annotations that you have in the test ng, right? This is what we have already seen in the last class. But in this class or in this video, I'm going to show you if you have all the nine annotations present in a single class, how the order of execution is going to be. So before it's late, let's get started. <music> So I hope you guys are able to see my screen. Now I have created a class called as one and I have added all those nine annotations with me. Let me show you again. It is before suit, before test, before class, before method, at the rate of test, after suit, after test, after class, and after method. I'm running this. After running this, I can show you the result. Total number of test cases is just one. Why? Because I have just one at the rate of test here, right? So, I mean, if I see the emailable report also, for someone who is learning for the first time, will not be able to understand that uh, how come only one test case is coming here, right? Why other annotations are not coming, right? So what is the order of execution, right? So for that reason, what I'm going to do, just to make you understand the concept, I'm printing some message, so that we understand what is the order of execution we have, right? Watch out. So I'm going to print here, let's say, before suit, before test, before class, before method, and after method, right? Let us just change the message. Otherwise, you will have a doubt later which one is for which method. So till here, everything is fine. Now this is fifth. This is your test case one. Let's take example, right? And this is going to be sixth which is after method. I'm going to change this as seven after class. I'm going to rename this as eight after test. I'm going to rename this as ninth after suit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save my program and after which I'm going to run it. Once I'm running it, you guys can see still one test case. You know why one test case? Because I got only one at the rate of test, right? But let us understand the order of execution now. This is how the order of execution is. Let's have a look. It start with before shift, before test, before class, before method. And this is your at the rate of test, right? After which we have after method, after class, after test, and finally after suit. So guys, when you have all the nine annotations present in a single program, the order of execution is going to be the way I have written it here, right? First one is going to be before suit. Second one is going to be before test. Third is going to be before class. Fourth is going to be before method. Fifth is going to be your first at the rate of test, right? Sixth is going to be your after method. Seventh is going to be after class. Eighth is going to be after test. And finally, the ninth is going to be after suit. So guys, if you have all the nine different annotations present in a single program, the order of execution will be the way we have just now discussed. Guys, just want to tell you that this is one of the important questions from interview perspective. And in case you are preparing for a state position or automation testing position as a fresher candidate or up to two years of experience candidate, this question is one of the really famous question. If you really found this video useful, then please don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. See you in the next video. Till then, thank you.